Good morning, this is Dr. Karan from Dr. PK Life. And today I'm gonna to talk about PSA. What is PSA? PSA stands for prostate specific antigen. It is a protein made by prostate cells and released into the blood. A PSA blood test measures how much of this protein is in your blood. Why do we use it? Because prostate cancer can raise PSA levels, but so can other things. What can raise PSA level without, uh, besides cancer? PSA can go up due to benign prostatic hyperplasia, which is BPH in large prostate, or prostatitis, inflammation or infection. Uh, ejaculation within 24 to 48 hours can raise PSA level. Urinary retention, if people have bladder problem and they're retaining urine, that can cause it. Recent prostate exam or bike riding can also elevate it. So a high PSA does not always mean cancer. That's where total and free PSA come in. So what is total PSA? What's the difference between total PSA and free PSA? Total PSA means all PSA in blood, both bound to protein and unbound. And free PSA means portion of PSA not bound to protein in body fluid. So we calculate the percentage of free PSA. Well, why does it matter? In prostate cancer, more PSA is bound. So free PSA is lower. So in benign conditions, more PSA is free for simple enlargement of prostate or inflammation or infection um, or post ejaculation or post uh, long bike ride. Um, free PSA is gonna be on a higher side. So this is how we interpret uh, the free PSA. If free PSA is more than 25% of total, then it's really benign. If free PSA is somewhere between 10 to 25%, there's an intermediate risk. If free PSA is less than 10%, there's a higher risk of cancer. So biopsy may be needed. PSA levels by age. What is uh, considered normal PSA depends on age. So age 40 to 49, is uh, supposed to be less than 2.5 nanogram per ml. Age 50 to 59 is supposed to be less than 3.5 nanogram per ml. Age 60 to 69 is less than 4.5 nanogram per ml. And age 70 to 79, is less than 6.5 nanogram per ml. But what is also important to watch is rapid rise of PSA. In general, PSA will rise, should not rise more than 0.75 nanogram per ml per year. So it should not rise more than 0.75 nanogram per ml per year. And doubling time, what is PSA doubling time. Um, if the PSA doubles quite fast, like within a year um, or within six months, uh, it gets more concerning and then the biopsy may be considered. So should you get a biopsy? Biopsy may be recommended if PSA is above a specific uh, cutoff. PSA is rising quickly. Um, or free PSA is low, less than 10%, or distal rectal exam, DRE is abnormal, but the a doctor, urologist or primary care doctor feel that there's a nodules, there's a firm area in the prostate. Or if there's a family history of prostate cancer, and if you are from, uh, if you are of Ameri uh, African-American descent. So this is decision is based uh, on multiple factors, not PSA alone. So seeing a urologist is a good idea. Can you lower PSA naturally? Um, there are some ways to suppress prostate, uh, some ways to support your prostate health. Uh, you got to be uh, of healthy weight and consume low fat diet. You should take lycopene, green tea, zinc, and omega-3s. Herbal support like saw palmetto, stinging nettle root, pumpkin seed, oil, and pygium, Dr. PK Life has a product with everything I just spoke. Sapa, meto, stinging nettle, root, 
pumpkin seed oil and pygium africanum in single capsule so this may help reduce inflammation and support healthy psa levels but it's always good to talk to your doctor before starting any regimen including supplement um so we know that psa testing saves life but it must be interpreted wisely don't panic at higher levels but don't ignore it either men over 50 or 45 if high risk should talk to their doctor about regular psa screening subscribe to um, to my channel and um, follow for more uh, men's health information from dr pk life um and uh have a great um uh, day and we'll uh talk again thank you